Hey guys, welcome back to another one. As you can see today, I uh, picked up a Sun and Moon Elite Trainer box from uh, the card store. They had the Sun and Moon boxes, but today I'm just going to be opening up the, the Moon one. And then uh, next time I'll open up the Sun one. But let's see. Pull that off. Got the player guide. Take that off. Let's see. Take the cardboard holder out. And then let's see, we have one, two, three have eight uh, base sun and moon packs and then code card the uh, the sleeves the obligatory energy pack let's see dividers as usual got the counters Oh, okay, the bag came open. I was like, normally they uh, have have them in a little bag and not just rolling around, but it's just regular dice. And here's a better uh, here's a better look at the uh, card sleeves. And then go ahead and open up the first pack. Make sure it's in. Okay, cool. So just slide it off on these, put them to the front. I don't remember if there's a energy on base sun and moon or not. Okay, so we got Golbat and then Pokemon Catcher, Pissimian, Cutie Fly, Drowsy. Rowlet, Alolan Grimer, Spiro, uh, Reverse Wishy Washy, and then just a Scotland on the end. I know these are uh, older packs now, but I just thought it would be cool since I have missed out on pretty much every previous set uh, and I haven't really started collecting so I figured I could just like go through and uh, like just go if I find any like older ones that aren't like the really expensive uh, sets which pretty much any of them Rowlet and then on the end another Scotland Pretty much any of the, uh, what is it, like the older sets, uh, like out of stock ones are going to be kind of expensive. I was really surprised that I got these uh, at just normal price, but I mean, they're, there's probably not anything too crazy in these, I would assume, but we'll see just like to pull and have more cards lying around I guess double energy grand bull crab brawler drowsy again grubbin F 
Spiro, uh, Makuhira, <laughs> uh, beautiful flowing hair, Alolan Doug Trio, and on the end, a Tauros GX. Well, that's, that's pretty cool. With that, uh, oh, it's textured too. Nice. Okay, next pack. Yeah, I'm really thinking about uh, sometime in the future, maybe more people start watching, actually giving the code cards away or finding some way to give them specifically to people, Lily Pup Reverse, and then a Toucan, because I, I have been giving them to some other people uh, that I know play the play the game and actually like do tournaments and stuff with each other but I, I feel like I, I have so many that I could give like some away on the channel and then maybe some to them still if they even still want them because I I mean I have absolutely no use for them I I have so much other stuff going on that I really can't afford to get into something else that I know I would get um like way too into and uh spend more money on or like invest more time we have nice pretty rainbow energy we got croc crocorog i think psyduck <laughs> the doofy eevee one of my favorite cards that i've seen so far that's just like a regular card uh pick a peck meowth Sandile, a reverse Torkoal, and then on the end, a, oh, it's actually hollow. That's just super hard to actually see. Uh, that's cool. So one, one GX, a couple of hollows, I think, so far. Bunch of reverses. Nothing... Nothing really blowing anyone away, but we have this pack and two more packs after that, so may yet still get something really good. So we got Alolan Raticate, Dartrix, Great Ball, Young Goose, Shelder, Zubat, Poplio. Stuffle, a Lantern Reverse, and then, ooh, Umbreon GX, heck yeah, I, I mean, I, I know a lot of people do, but I really love, uh, the whole Evolution line, and, uh, Umbreon's probably my favorite, at least looks-wise, I don't really, uh, use him too much in, in the games, I think he's supposed to be uh, more of a, like a bulky Pokemon, I think, for what he is anyways. Okay, so, Dartrix, Nest Ball, Rotom Dex, Morphle, Chinchow, Cutie Fly, uh, Dratini, Spiro, uh, Rotom Dex, Reverse, and then a Cloister. Alright, so one more pack to open out of this. So, see if we get something good. So, uh, 
we get into it. Energy retrieval, wishy wash, Toga tomorrow. One of uh, definitely actually one of my favorites because hedgehogs are my favorite uh, animal. So I, I like seeing him. Another Chin Chow, Makuhita, Caterpie, Paris, a Reverse Hypno, and last one is a Butterfree. Alright, so that was 8 packs. So I'll go ahead and get into these two. I, uh, someone gave me this big Pokeball, um, uh, Ultra Bowl with some cards in it that they just found at, uh, like a store somewhere. I went ahead and opened it, uh, a little bit after I got it. I haven't done anything with any of the cards, though. I just noticed that they were kind of, uh, kind of crammed in there and, uh, seemed like a bad way to package them, I guess. But, I mean, they're all older cards. Uh, older sets but uh, still kind of makes you sort of hope that you don't get anything good in case the cards are uh, bent or something but it came with uh, another I think that's heat ran heat more uh, I don't remember it's also kind of hard to tell exactly what it's supposed to be it's just a weird design and the first one is uh, Sun and moon, like the other ones that we had been opening. Ah, uh, see that—that that makes me feel weird. I'm just like putting the least amount of pressure as I can on them, and they're still just opening up like butter. I don't know if I if I like that more, or if it makes me feel like. No, the cards still feel the same, so I, gu I guess it's alright. It's just kind of weird after opening, like, normal packs that are a little bit harder. Oh, there's an Ultra Ball, like the case it came in. Boldor, Zubat, Torkoal, Rowlet, Drowsy, Cutie Fly, a, uh, Cosmoem, Reverse, and then... A regular regular crab abominable. See next pack that this was uh, Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. There is there's some cards in this that I I see. Now that back to normal feeling packs. But there's definitely uh some cards in Burning Shadows that I I want so I. I think I prefer that to uh, the regular Sun and Moon packs at least. So Tormenting Spray, Whirlipede, Sad, uh, Dying in the Rain, Charmander, wonder who left them out there. Uh, Rattata, Porygon, giving kids seizures since 96. Panpour, Pan Sage, Crab Brawler, I was kind of hoping to get a pan uh, seer next. That would have been funny. And then on the end, a holographic Kingdra. That's uh. Let's see if I can. Oh, it's just not wanting to focus. That that card is really dark. Anyways, it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, like I, it's right in front of me, and I can't even see what's supposed to be behind him. I think it's an Azuril, maybe. So hard to tell on that. And then the last one is a uh, breakpoint pack. So let's see. Uh, see, and that one came open extremely easy as well. Just back and forth with these packs, I guess. So we got Stantler, Swana, uh, Tyrano, Shelter, Drowsy, a Spritzy, Time Pole, a Clefairy. That's a hmm. 
interesting art. The uh, color of the card looks kind of off to me. A reverse cloister and then a ferrothorn and no energy on this one. I guess that's kind of shows what uh, about what time it came out if there's no energy on the back. And then I just want to test my luck. I'll do I'll do one last pack of uh, just some just a bunch of I have a a stack of regular packs that aren't in any cases or anything. So I picked up some uh, vivid voltage packs, uh, sword and shield set. That one, that one was like a nice in-between. It didn't feel like it was just tearing into like some old paper or like the stainless steel, like impenetrable new packs. It was like a nice medium in-between, I felt like. So we got Macargo, League Staff, uh, that, that one that I keep failing on the name even though it's right in front of me, Karakarok, I think, Drillbur, Whalemur, Cottony, Clobberpus, wait, Clobopus, Electrike, Charmander Reverse, he's frolicking through the fields, maybe smelling that flower that's next to him, and on the end, a Pikachu V. I think I, I feel like I, I've gotten this one before, but, um, you know, I'll take it. I'm, I like that. I'm happy with that. Uh, good note to end it on but yeah so that was uh, that's gonna wrap it up for this one on the the next one I'll do the Sun and then uh, sometime down the line I have uh, another box to the right that I won't reveal what it is yet and then I have another box to go with it that's coming in soon and then uh, chilling rains just came out so I'm gonna be opening up some of those uh, soon as well but uh thank you guys for sticking around make sure to leave me a comment on uh this i'll have links to socials and the new discord channel i just made for me and some of my other uh creator and streamer friends so go ahead and give those a look out too so uh thank you guys i'll see you in the next one